So I had lots of clients and students who would come to me who were in search of a meaningful pathway forward who said, well, I don't know what to do. And I would say, well, what do you want for your life? And they said, well, I really don't know. And, uh, and so then I learned two things about that. The first is uh, don't do nothing. That's a big mistake because all you do is get older and weaker and you withdraw more. And so even if you don't know what to do, pursuing nothing is a very bad idea. You have no hope then because hope comes from pursuit and you're anxious because you need to specify a path. So you have no hope and you're anxious if you do nothing. So nothing is not the answer. Because I wanted you to hear this too because you're my nephew. So I do uh, scream to me the other night, hey Will, I want to be an actor, man. I want to be an actor just like you. You know, usually people say stuff to me like that. I'm like, yeah, man, you know, you do is give them an encouraging word. But I was just sitting in here thinking and it dawned on me, 99% of people that say stuff like that are not willing to do what it takes to make their dreams come true. The Marines have a saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. You're working really, really hard on something. You're creating all this, all this information, and in your brain, all these neural pathways are connecting, and that's unconsciously. But consciously, nothing is happening. You're getting frustrated. You've almost learned too much. You've almost thought too deeply into it, and you're kind of blocked. And then you step away from it for a day or something, and you let go, and all of those connections that are happening unconsciously now reach the conscious mind, and you become aware of, of the perfect idea. It had been there the whole time, but you were blocking it by being too intense and too focused on one way of doing it, yeah. right? So then the next proposition was something like this. Well, look, you don't know what to do. So why don't we just look and see what other people do that, that seems to work. And maybe you don't have to do any of these things or all of these things, but if you don't know where to start, here's a good place to start. There's seven or eight major domains. So you don't know what to do with your life. Well, let's break your life down. Probably you want an intimate partner. Most people do. Now, you might not, but probably you do, even if you think you do. And so you might be one of those exceptions, but don't assume that to begin with, because that's an uncomfortable place to be if it's true. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. You should regulate your behavior in relationship to temptations, like drug and alcohol abuse and sex, because short-term impulsive hedonic gratification doesn't play out well across time and it tends to make you unpopular. So that's not a good, uh, that's not a good recipe for long-term progress into the future. You know, so, something as simple as food and eating, it, it's not about your, your body as much as it is about your mind. It's getting command of your mind to be able to choose actions that are in your own best interest. You should take care of yourself mentally and physically. You should have a plan for that. You need an educational plan because there's probably something you could learn and get better at, and that doesn't have to be academic. It could be extremely practical or creative. And you should figure out how to make productive, generous use of the time you have when you're not working. And so that's like a conservative vision, right? Because it, it fleshes out the generic landscape of human striving. And it's a good place to start if you don't know where to start. You can start with one of those things and move towards it, or two or four, and maybe you don't have to do all of them. But my experience as a clinician has been that if you are failing on all eight of those fronts, you're not depressed, you just have a terrible life. And that's just real. At the center of bringing any dream into fruition is self-discipline. Frustration is a good sign. Frustration is a sign that you're going to be turning the corner at some point. If you give up, then that, that's the worst thing that can happen to you. Every day, we are choosing shit that's not in our own best interest, right? So if the world is attacking you and the world wants to fight you and the world's trying to hold you down, so you're going to kick yourself in the balls? So you're going to stop yourself from getting what you dream. Self. Discipline is the center of all material success. Les Brown's a motivational speaker. He made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. 
The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed, angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? You've invested, you, you've invested a lot in your education and people have invested in you. And let me tell you, the world needs your talents. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind.